Hey everybody, <laughs> I just woke up from a nap, so I'm kind of like groggy and gr weird. I've been dying to listen to some more Ice Nine Kills lately. I reacted to them on this channel. I've listened to two songs so far, Assault and Batteries and Funeral Derangements. I had not heard of them didn't know anything about them and I just saw like Assault and Batteries. I liked the title, you know. I could see that it was like maybe a Chucky inspiration and I thought that was a clever title. It looked like rock music or something and I thought that's cool, I'll check that out. And then at the end of the song there was like a weird ending thing with a police officer talking to other police officers there's like a murder investigation thing going on and I was like okay I'm confused I don't know what this means uh, okay but I just pressed on <laughs> and then I did funeral derangements because I again thought the title was cool sounding didn't know anything about it um, saw that it was taking inspiration from Pet Cemetery. I was like, cool, all of these songs are like taking inspiration from different horror movies. Again, at the end, there was a weird part with the police, the same police officer in a room talking about this killer and they're like doing a murder investigation thing. I was like, okay, I'm missing something. I don't, I'm confused. Are these supposed to be watched in some sort of order? <laughs> And people in the comment section were saying, yes, you should watch them in a certain order. This is a part of a group of songs called, uh, what's it called? Scream something? The Silver Scream. Like the Silver Screen. The Silver Scream 2 series. So there's a, the Silver Scream series. There's a first one. And then this is the Silver Scream 2 series. Luckily, both those songs were from that same series, even though I watched them in the wrong order, which makes me angry because I would have liked to watch them in the right order. I just had no idea. The first song I was supposed to watch in the right order is Hip To Be Scared and then Assault and Batteries, I think. According to this Reddit thing, if this person's right, it's supposed to be Hip To Be Scared, Assault and Batteries, Rainy Day, then funeral derangements. I don't know if there's more songs after that because it says we'll have to wait and see what the next video will be. This was two years ago. So anyways, I'm going to go back. I'm going to watch them and order what I have left in that S Silver Scream 2 series. But it's going to be all out of order because I already watched two of the songs. But when I get to the Silver Scream the other series or any other like series of songs that they have that are supposed to be watched in a certain order to tell a story I'm going to put those in the right order from now on when I get to those eventually but I'm going to finish out Silver Scream, Scream 2 series first and get that over with and done anyways I've been dying to hear some more of these songs I was going to wait till Halloween time to, to react to all these because I reacted to the other two around Halloween time because it's like horror movie stuff and it seems kind of Halloween-ish. Uh, but eh, you can listen to it any time of the year. Who cares? I have plenty of other content to watch around Halloween time anyways. So it's not like I'm dying for Halloween content. It's one of my favorite times of year. I like to do all kinds of horror stuff, horror shorts horror movie type stuff, all that type of stuff. Anyways, I'm talking way too much. Let's listen to Hip To Be Scared. In the wealthiest sections, a killer complexion is often a great alibi. Valentino could soon mix with violence and gore. 
Okay, I can already tell. Um, going into this, I had no clue what this was going to be about. But when it started, I was like, oh, okay, I remember. I think it's about that movie American Psycho. Is that what it's called? American Psycho? Which I'm not a huge fan of that movie. It's very weird. I'm just... Like, I respect the movie as, like, a cinematic masterpiece or whatever. It's very strange. Like, the ending makes you think and you're like, what? <laughs> and I respect that about it, but it's not a enjoyable movie for me to watch or nothing because it's so dark and depraved and, <laughs> and like, rich people, uh, the people all the people all the characters in the movie annoy me so it's just like the whole movie i'm just like agitated aggravated like oh i hate these people <laughs> but yeah with the the eye mask thing and he's wearing like a nice suit and all of that and then i remember he's listening to that song i think it's hip to be squared or something like hip to be squared it's like kind of a upbeat song like a happy kind of upbeat song but he's like being a psychopath and listening to that song <laughs> so hip to be scared is like a play of that obviously Those body bags look really good. <laughs> it's weird to say that, but <laughs> like they look really creepy and really like, is that real people? Like it's got to be real people. Yeah, it's like real people inside of dry cleaning bags <laughs> with fake blood splattered inside. Oh, those those scenes with the poor girls. Oh, it makes my stomach hurt. I hate those scenes so so dark and creepy and bleh. and the creepy thing is that that happens in real life I'm sure like really rich people they like pay women to do that stuff and they do depraved horrible things like oh nasty don't like it <laughs> oh here we go was a little bit too seen for me, but when the Silver Scream came out, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a refined melodic sensibility that really makes it a cut above the rest. Hey, Paul! <laughs> Time to hell with good intentions. 
right out of a Hollywood horror movie. Found in the crime scene was a silence mask and an ice pick featured in Hank's new film. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, so it didn't have the same sort of ending with the cop. It was just like he's in custody now. Interesting. It's probably my third favorite of the three The three I've heard so far. Assault and Batteries, Funeral Derangements, and this one. I don't know why exactly, but <laughs> maybe because I'm not a fan of American Psycho. And so it's like, eh. And, but I do like, well, I kind of, I'm not a huge fan of Pet Cemetery to be honest, either, because of kid dying and the, con, you know, the whole thing of it. It's very dark and, ugh. and Chucky even. I'm not a huge fan of Chucky either, but I don't know. Anyways, Funeral Derangements is my favorite, and Chuck, the Assault and Battery one is my second favorite, and this is my third favorite so far, but it's still incredible. Uh, the, the whole music video, all the attention to detail, the, it's so creative, so good looking, it's, it's fantastic. The song sounds great, singing is great, the whole thing put together is just, it's like a work of art. I love, he, I mean, he used every iconic thing from the movie you know, from the business card to the calling of the attorney and the chasing the women around with the chainsaw and body bags and blood and killing, was it Paul? Killing Paul? <laughs> and like just all the iconic stuff from the movie, he incorporated it in there, left no stone unturned, which I love. That was hip to be scared. It's hip to be scared. Featuring J Jacoby. I don't know if it's Jacoby or Jacoby Shaddix. I don't know who that was. If that was the guy that died on the couch. Because I don't really remember any other guys in there. I like that name. I like Jacoby. That sounds cool. Jacoby. Is that like a name from the Bible or something? It sounds familiar. Jacoby. Anyways. uh, I'll probably react to... Another Ice Nine Kills song after this, so I don't know when I'll post them. Just randomly post them sometime. But if you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comment section. Just say hi or something. I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite Ice Nine Kills song? And like and subscribe. Just made it over 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Let's keep going to 3,000 subscribers. Have a nice day. Bye.